The starting point for the talon distal fix proximal femoral nail is just lateral to the tip of the greater trochanter. The entry pin should intersect the shaft axis at the level of the lesser trochanter. With the entry pin in the appropriate position, use the proximal reamer to open the femur. Reaming depth is at the discretion of the surgeon, but should be to at least the first groove on the reamer blades as seen radiographically. Take care not to remove bone from the medial cortex. For short nails requiring reaming of the IM canal, as well as all long nails, exchange the entry pin for the 900 millimeter ball tip sheath guide wire via the exchange tube. For long nails, use the radiographic talon template to determine the size of the longest nail recommended for that patient. Position the C-arm for an AP view of the distal femur. Starting with the talon template near the knee, move the template proximally along the thigh until all four points of the template reside within the cortex of the distal femur. This represents the tip of the longest nail recommended for that patient. The length of the longest nail can be read directly from the tip of the greater trochanter using the radiographic markings of the talon template. Alternatively, the 900 millimeter guide wire can be pulled back until its tip is even with the distal end of the talon template. The measurement can then be made directly off the wire using the folding guide wire ruler. If between sizes, always choose the nail one size smaller. If necessary, enlarge the IM canal through sequential reaming. It is recommended that the canal be reamed one millimeter greater than the distal diameter of the nail, which is 11 millimeters. Once reaming is complete, remove the outer sheath of the guide wire in preparation for nail insertion. Assemble the guide arm. Be sure to securely tighten the connecting screw. Confirm that the goalposts slide easily through the guide arm. Mate the chosen nail to the guide arm by lining up the laser references. This screw should also be securely tightened. Confirm that the targeting arm lines up with the hole in the nail. With the outer sheath of the guide wire removed, insert the nail over the inner wire. Use steady pressure and gentle twisting motions to advance the nail. Attach the impactor to the guide arm if additional force is necessary. Once the nail is in place, remove the inner wire. Use the lag screw hole to fine tune the insertion depth of the nail. Ideal lag screw position is slightly inferior of center when viewed in the AP plane. Pass the guide sleeve and obturator through the guide arm and advance to the level of the bone. Ensure that the guide sleeve is in contact with the lateral cortex. Securely tighten the guide lock to ensure the guide sleeve remains fixed for the remainder of the procedure. Raise the goal posts and position the C-arm for a lateral view of the proximal femur. Once a good lateral of the proximal femur is obtained, rotate the guide arm until the two prongs of the goalposts overlap and are seen as one. This represents the trajectory of the guide pin and should bisect the femoral head. Insert the guide pin to the level of the subchondral bone. Determine the drilling depth using the guide pin ruler. The value obtained is a direct measurement to the tip of the guide pin. Remove the guide sleeve obturator. Set the drill stop to the desired drilling depth. Drill the proximal femur. Use the pin pusher to ensure the guide pin remains in place during drill removal. Insert the lag alignment plug. The T-handle should be parallel to the guide arm. Pass the nail talon driver connected to the torque limiting T-handle down the nail until it seats in the distal nail talon mechanism. 
Turn the T-handle clockwise to deploy the nail talons. The extent of talon deployment is at the discretion of the surgeon. Please see the technique guide for more details. Talon deployment should never be done using a powered instrument. Mate the chosen lag screw with the lag driver. Set the compression knob to zero. See the technique guide for situations in which the compression knob would be set to a value other than zero. Remove the lag alignment plug and insert the lag screw. When lag screw insertion is complete, the T-handle must be parallel or perpendicular to the guide arm in order for the lag screw to line up with the set screw. Tighten the set screw one half turn in order to limit further lag screw rotation. Insert the lag talon deployment driver. Turn clockwise to deploy the lag screw talons. The extent of talon deployment is at the discretion of the surgeon and should never be done using a powered instrument. See the technique guide for more details. Loosen the set screw one half turn. If appropriate, apply compression by turning the compression knob clockwise using the knob wrench. After compression has been applied, re-engage the set screw for either a fixed or sliding configuration. See the technique guide for more details. If satisfied with the final position of the implant, release the lag screw from the lag driver. Loosen the guide lock and remove the guide sleeve. Release the nail from the guide arm. If necessary, place an end cap 